Hello, my name is Marina Jad. I'm the founder of the Holistic Academy. In our academy, we represent the best industry accredited courses from all around the world on holistic development. We prepare meditation teachers, holistic counselors, and creative arts therapists. The way, the benchmark by which we measure the success of our academy, it's not by the number of students who graduate, but by the success they achieve in personal and professional development by implementing the knowledge and um, experience which they had in our academy. And today I'm talking to Sasha Dandashe. Sasha is our ex-student. She is graduated in August 2021. Yeah. She was studying a uh, certificate on meditation, teaching and holistic human development. We are keeping in touch with our students and I know Sasha achieved a lot. From August, uh, she created her Sasha circle, her yeah. community. <laughs> she also been helping, um, volunteering in Ajman Hospital. That's one. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm so holding. you will tell us about your your progress and thank you for spending, uh, finding time for us. It's great, I'm very grateful and uh, uh, we start with you telling a little bit about yourself, why you choose to study in our academy and what, <coughs> how it's influenced your, influenced your uh, future life if it is. Uh, it's nice to see you again, uh, Marina. Uh, first, really, I want to say thank you and for the Holistic Academy for giving me this great chance and uh, it was a turning point in my life, especially personal. And as we mentioned in our previous uh, talk, almost a year ago or less, that this course, the Holistic Human Development, it was and is still a journey, a personal journey for me, an inner journey. So I started from the first chapter, I start reading in the course, and now I'm still going on. So I finished, of course, my, uh, my course in August 21st, when uh, I uh, give my last assignment. I was even traveling, I said, oh, this is the last one, and I sent the attachment one, it was uh, missing or empty. So it was so nice feeling that really, the challenge for myself, the feeling of achievement, that mm -hmm. till the last, uh, till the last uh, homework, till the last assignment, the last question even, it was just to be completed and sent to you. It was for me like really great feeling, achievement, uh, commitment, discipline, challenging for myself. I finished it and uh, as I said, it was a turning point for me. And then now I start from the beginning when I started with the course, with the assignment, sending you the assignment, uh, the weekly meeting. I start feel the, uh, the subtle details and the changing. So as I got more advanced uh, module after module and all these skills which we studied and we practiced and we did the assignment start to implement it in my daily life, in my thinking, in my... It, it became part of me, not only studying and practicing for a while, it became it's implemented in me, in Sasha. The, the benefits of this course is enormously on the personal level, on the uh, psychological level, the emotional level, for sure it brings you in, in balance, in harmony with yourself. You try to discover yourself more, to get more aware about your shortcomings, about your flaws in your character, about the things which is in you, uh, especially when you study about this, uh, the subconscious programming and reprogramming, all that, then really you, you read and then you come and you think about yourself, you try, you feel, you try to re-understand, re-study yourself, refigure yourself. And each one of us, we have like uh, all little part from all these, uh, not diseases, what we say it, the, 
things which is everybody in a small measurement. Some people they suffer from anxiety, from the stress. This is uh, this is yes. the pandemic of the of uh, nowadays. Let's say stress, anxiety, uh, some uh, shy, introvert, uh, some kind light of depression, of uh, getting lost, uh, facing some difficulties you know, on personal life, and then it will affect you. You are not in balance. Most of us we have this. And especially after this pandemic, two years, it was totally our life were upside down. A lot of uncertainties, a lot of anxiety. Everything was displaced in in the universe and inside you and in your community. So through this study and through discovering the meditation and all the other skills, which is it was uh, in this course, that it makes you to come a little bit as we said before, you are your first client. You become the therapist of yourself mm -hmm. and very sincere therapist and very close. So, and you achieve a great improvement, a great result. You become, I feel like I'm really, that is in its ongoing journey, but I, ha I feel like I achieve kind of a really long, long way in my, in, in my feeling balanced, grounded, learned a lot i'm really grateful and yeah and uh, become able to to be aware about the gratitude and to express it and to feel it daily so this is also from the holistic uh, development course so it's is any tools which you learn in this course you use in every day and it help you to i mean get through the day we all have our worries, our stress. Is any special particular tools you use in which you learn in a course? Yeah, I went uh, thoroughly through all these tools and uh, I tried to implement it and to apply it daily in my life. But sincerely, the most uh, valuable one for me and I'm really attached to it and practicing every day, the meditation. Mm -hmm. Really from day one now almost one year and a half busy with the course and things from day one from the first chapter we read i read it and went through it i started practicing the meditation and i can see myself how i was struggling just to sit and to to hear and all sometimes follow up the youtubes and i have to look to hear and to feel it myself till now i can lead myself through a very nice meditation session it can last 15 20 minutes and usually that's i i, I put like the early morning mm -hmm. this is for me just start to set up for the day to generate my energy to focus to set my intention for the day and uh, to go ahead so all almost almost daily this morning 10 minutes my guided meditation and sometimes I just do it myself and fixing my bed by creating a routine a habit before like since I was teenage I never thought oh you are always in hurry I go I don't do it now almost a year my bed is very happy that I don't leave the house unless I fix my bed <laughs> even in the hotel <laughs> see all these little habits they are make big difference yes so how do you feel this routine of meditation and make it your bed and all these little routine things how do they influence your life what uh, for example this is was your starting point when you start that course and where you looking at it back now where you now so how can you explain this this just to wake up in the morning and then directly to be to in touch with your awareness and to be mindfully starting your day the moment i i wake up always fresh and uh, uh, like uh, not sleepy or i wake up on time even if i am late usually i wake up early person to start the day early morning the moment really i wake up it is like a choice that i want to start my day mindfully yes. to be aware of my day that it is in like a new day a new beginning 
when I'm just like really opening my eyes, I look to check the time and I say, yeah, I am awake now. I try to make some stretching in my bed and uh, I get up, I go, first my coffee, of course. Even doing the coffee to drink in my water, it is just, uh, yeah, with awareness, with mindfulness that I am now alive. I wake up, I'm doing this, I'm doing the coffee. I know that I have to take my coffee first, my water, and then I will sit for this 10 minutes. I sit with myself. And be, uh, to, before that, I hear some, it is it's called Adhkar Sabah for me. I hear it, and then I say, okay, now I will do that. I little bit think about the day, what it's gonna be, but before that, I said, I have to sit now 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Even now, I put my curtains down. I have my small corner at home with my little Buddha, my uh, candles. In the morning, I do it just 10 minutes. I sit and try just to connect into my uh, breath, to be grounded, uh, to feel the connection. And then maybe last two minutes of my meditation, then just I set up the in intention for my day. Depends on if I know I, I want to be focused, I want to uh, to be productive day, I want to be like a uh, calm day if I know that I'm gonna be facing some uh, situations or like that. And then I just give myself a big hug to feel me that, yes, you are doing great for yourself. And here I am. Yes, it's amazing that uh, how we influence through life sometimes so unconsciously. And we're looking back and we think, where is this years ago? Where have I been? Where have I been all this time, right? Yeah. And uh, this course. So, what what part of our program? It's very practical. You have to establish routine. This is rule number one. Otherwise, if you're not grounded, if you don't know yourself, you are unable to become a good therapist. Yeah. It's impossible. So, first you ground yourself. First you help yourself, and then you can help others. Yes. So I see Sasha is changing since yeah. the, since, <laughs> since that time a lot. And could you please tell me about your enterprise, about Sasha's circle? Because I know you doing this great community work for the yeah. people. This is also it, it is the result from from the course. Like you remember in one of these uh, modules, yeah, then you start to have the life charting and uh, the planning and uh, to uh, to see like uh, certain aspects of your life where you are now and where you want to be what yes. you have to do yes you remember this uh, yes. homework and i was discussing with you so one of them it was one segment it's about uh, the community mm -hmm. so when i was like uh, i said okay the community i said myself i'm like i know that uh, i care about uh, like uh, I do kind of uh, giving back to the society or but it is on a small circle like family uh, uh, further family uh. so I, th I thought no I am nice with my neighbors with the security with I said I sh it should be more uh, more organized uh, more focused and little bit outside the personal uh, circle so and uh, because also like how much this course and to get to know all about uh, meditation and the holistic approach and the balance between the body and the mind and the emotion and the spirit and how really great effects on me. I thought I like to share this with the community. Mm -hmm. And as we said, for, for, for all of us, Dubai is the, 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 the leading example of caring and uh, and giving and so I thought I want to share all these great changes and transformation which is it happened with me during this course to share it with the with the community a little bit systematic and organized so I launched the circle that with S and uh, it is like one evening or two and uh, I give it all my passion to set it up. First, I was myself the only one sitting in the park. I said, I will start first to introduce meditation, how you meditate, to talk about meditation. And I prepared myself. I was 
the first time I want to do it and I write how it is. Of course, we had in the course, we, we do all these practices about to write your own, uh, to read your own uh, meditation and the text. And, and I heard a lot of things and I thought, okay, I want to choose something like for first timer, how it's going to be uh, short and nice and accessible to do. So I choose about uh, connect to your body connection. So I, I, the first time I went to the park and I announced I have supporting supportive sisters and the friends and I I made a logo. I write what is uh, I'm looking uh, for. What is my mission in this circle? So, but first time I was like preparing that even if I go myself alone, I will do the session and uh, like that. So I practice and then I uh, invite some friends, uh, the community, and start really to grow and the first time I was of course nervous to give like uh, to lead a meditation uh, session for uh, it was uh, five or six people most of them friends and uh, family and then uh, I started to fix it fixing uh, time on Mondays and uh, uh, I started myself to lead the, the session and they respond and uh, every time we choose one kind of meditation and then the intention should be like interactive from the community to community, mm -hmm. not only me a solo, no. I ask anybody who has any passion, which it will contribute to our well-being, he is more welcome or she is more welcome to, to, uh, to uh, volunteer and to participate. So, and always I'm looking like to see some uh, good yoga instructor, another meditation uh, facilitator. I, uh, so my neighbor, he is a yoga instructor. And I said, would you uh, to lead for us? Yes. And he's now really giving us from his uh, valuable time. His name is Sam. So he comes every uh, Monday. He leads our yoga session. I meet interesting people for uh, uh, breath work, for meditation. Everybody, they said, OK. I said, would you like to lead us for a session? They come. And then we continue. So and after that, we make a nice cup of tea. We talk. So I wanted to have a circle which is really for our well-being, to feel connected in the community, to feel really for the well-being. It's not about fitness that you come. When you sit together and you do one hour of uh, yoga or meditation, you create binding yes. together. You feel and hear a lot of people, they are alone, they are far away from their families. You, you, you feel you connect. You are breathing together, moving uh, together, stretching. And after that, we just we sit and we exchange. And, it, it, yeah, everybody working hard, they come and they feel, wow, it's, it's a great feeling. And every and they said, please, anybody who would like to share any passion uh, activity or with us, would you participate for that, you are most welcome. It's great because when you study and get new knowledge, the very important part of it to be able to implement it because I know many people who just do course after course after course after course. Nothing happened, moving nowhere, spending in money, time, resources. But you need to share the knowledge. Yeah. And so uh, you need to have courage, structure to do that. Otherwise, it's wasted, wasted knowledge. And Sasha, you're doing a great job. I'm so proud of you. Well Thank done. You. Yeah. And you're given this opportunity to share knowledge to other newcomers, yes. to other new practitioners, because it's not always easy to find a group of people who are ready to accept and uh, don't charge, judge you. Yeah. Uh, and you are creating this environment. It's, it's very valuable for, yeah. for, us, for the I, industry. Because you mentioned now, and really I like to address it to all these uh, people who are interested in, in this field. And uh, I have noticed because I talk so many people who, like you see, they did uh, this course in this uh, healing, uh, this course in this theta therapy, in this uh, Reiki, uh, in this. So they go directly like to a specialized field, and they start to take it or to. My advice is really to to follow because I did a lot of my research before I start. These courses which you are, your academy is uh, offering, especially the, the, the basic one, the meditation and the holistic development, and now it's the same and integrated with the art therapy. This is, I find it a platform 
a yes. great academic foundation for this career in the yes. later. So it is very, very important this course, which it can give you the basics, the clinical and academical basics. You know what it is. It's not only about meditation. You know all these the basic and uh, like uh, this uh, needed knowledge and the skill from in very academic, scientific and uh, holistic knowledge. It's a platform, you take it and really you have the solid foundation and background and this it can open up a lot of doors for you but also it can make a lot of things clear for you. The first one it is like you have gone through the treatment, the therapy yourself. Yes, it's, it's because number one. Because any important. therapist or any psychologist or any, first you have to go through it yourself to be able to, 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 uh, like to become a therapist or to become yeah. a counselor or to become a coach. You have to, even in these uh, coaching courses, you have to get 50 or 100 hours really practice to be able uh, to do it. So with these uh, courses, you are uh, the Holistic Academy are offering you are gaining the academic knowledge and this is the self journey, the inner journey. You become, you practicing yourself, you are healing yourself, yes. you are counseling yourself and at the same time you are, uh, you are the, the, the practitioner. So you are the client and the therapist at the same time and it's on your own way and so everything you learn and you study, you get really to the, digest it, to feel it from both sides, from the, 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 the client and the therapist. And you handle it with yourself and you go, so you are well prepared to have the foundation, the basic, and then after that you can say, I wanna go in the healing direction, to study the Reiki, to study theta therapy, I wanna go further to become the family constellation, to go further to become therapist, to become counselor, so this is the basic study course which it can open up a lot and this is you got your own journey and your own healing process. Yes, very good. This is how I feel it. Great, thank you very much Sasha for such a deep explanation and sharing your experience. Thanks. 